I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to this video in which we will try to understand how to convert angles given in radians to degrees, minutes and seconds. So we have three examples to discuss. First example is to convert 5 pi by 6 into degrees, minutes and seconds. Second is pi by 7 and then we have 1.234 radians. Now general formulas, let's recall them. We know that one radian, let's write down pi radians first, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, correct? So that is one relation between radians and degrees. So if we have to convert radians to degrees, we use this factor of uh, one radian equals to 180 degrees divided by pi correct so that becomes the factor to convert into degrees now we are also talking about minutes and seconds now one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds right you could also write uh, one minute is 3600 seconds you could do that okay so let me write one minute could be one degree could be written as 3600 seconds right so these are the conversion factors which you could use for any conversion between degrees minutes and seconds from radians correct okay now the question here is to convert these right so let's begin with 5 pi by 6. So A for us is, let me use this space, 5 pi by 6. If nothing is written, it really means radians, right? It really means radians, right? Radians is a ratio. Now, to convert that into degrees, what should we do? We have to cancel radians and write this as times 180 degrees over pi radians, correct? Pi radians. Now, you see that radian and radian, this unit cancel. What remains is in degrees, correct? We can simplify this, dividing 6 into 180, so that goes 30 times, and we can cancel pi and pi also. So now, what we get here, is 5 times 30, right? 5 times 30 is 150 degrees. Now, in this case, we are able to get answer in terms of degrees itself. But that may not be the case always, right? Let's look into the second example, which is, let's rewrite that, pi by 7. Now, if I have pi by 7, and that is in radians. And if I need to convert to degrees, I have to multiply this by the conversion factor, 180 degrees divided by pi radians, correct? Now, as we did last time, we can cancel radians and radians. We can also cancel pi by pi. But see what happens when I divide 180 by 7. So let's do it. So when I divide 180 by 7, I get a decimal number which is 25.71428. Do you see that? So now, that is a decimal degree, right? So what we got here is a decimal degree, right? So degree in decimals, right? So we normally say this is your degree in decimals. The question here is to write it in minutes and seconds, right? We may sometimes write this as degrees, I mean, degrees, minutes and seconds, right? So DMS. Now, how do we do that? Now, to do that, we know we have got 25 degrees. Now, the decimal value is 0 0.71428. 
Now, 0.71428 degrees can be converted to minutes by multiplying by 60, right? So, so now what we do here is we multiply 0 0.71428 by 60, right? And see what do we get. Now, here we have 25 point something. I'll take away 25. So, we get the number which is a decimal equivalent, right? Now, times 60 gives me in decimals a value which is equal to 42.8571, something like this, correct? So, what we get here now, it is in minutes. We multiplied this by 60 and got it in minutes. Now, this is also in decimals. To get that into seconds, what are we going to do? We are going to now use this decimal point, which is 0 0.8571. 8571 multiply that by 60 to get the answer in seconds right so we'll multiply this so i'm going to take away 42 to get my decimal number and this number will now be multiplied by 60 to get the answer in minutes so we get 51.428 right now we can write down our answer so as you can see here we have 25 degrees, 42 minutes, and 51 seconds, correct? So, we could write this pi by 7 radians as equal to 25 degrees, right? Degrees, 42 minutes, and 51 seconds. Is that clear to you? So, that is how you are going to do it. Perfect. Now, we have done something like this. We got initially number in decimal degrees, right? N then we converted that to degrees, minutes, and seconds by multiplying the decimal part by 60 first to get minutes and then again by 60 to get it in seconds. Now, you need to apply the same method to now convert 1.234 radians into degrees, minutes, and seconds, right? I think you can do it. So, you can actually pause the video, try it out. Here is my solution, correct? So, we are now working with 1.234 radians, right? So, we are going to multiply this by 180 degrees divided by pi. What do we get? Let's see. So, we have 1.234 times 180 and we're going to divide this by pi. That gives us 70.702991. Okay. So here we have answer in degrees, which could be written as 70 degrees, right? So clearly we have 70 degrees here, right? But this decimal part needs to be converted to minutes and seconds. How are you going to do it? Well, we'll multiply that by 60. So, we have 0 0.702991 times it by 60. See what do we get. So, from here, I'll just take away 70 so that I get the decimal part. Multiply that by 60 to get our answer, which is in this case 42.179. Okay, maybe 5. So, 42 minutes, right? The later half can now be multiplied by 60 to get seconds, right? So, I'll do 0 0.1795 times 60 again. To do that, I'll take away 42. So, I got the decimal part. Multiply that by 60. What do you get? You get 10.77, right? 10.7. Okay. So, that gives you required answer in degrees, minutes, and seconds, right? So, what we get here is 42 minutes and 10 seconds. So, we can write this as 1.234 radians as equal to 72 degrees, 42 minutes and 10 seconds. Does make sense to you? So, that is how we are going to answer such questions or do this conversion. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.